Hey folks, Jerome Forsford here. It's 1.13 p.m. on January 1st, 2023 in Western Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It's 6 degrees outside and a partly cloudy afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.5 kilometers, starting by the Nookshook, then shall north on English Bay Beach, northeast on Denman, ending my trek by the Transit bus stop at West Georgia and Denman. To, to support the channel, click the heart icon to send me super thanks. For updates, follow me on Instagram at jforestwood. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forcewood here, just uh, walking over at English Bay Beach. And today is uh, the polar bear swim. So that means it must be New Year's. Happy New Year's. I'll come back here after a quick swing through this area <coughs> later, later on around 2.30 uh, and check out everyone going on in for their big dip. But uh, just using this walk that we're going to record right now, just scan the scene, see what it's like over here. It's like we got some awesome food trucks. They, of course, got warning, warming tents in the back. Some people are already going into the water, which is fine. But most people are going to go in right at 2.30. <laughs> so, oh, we record a separate walk for that. And this one will just be the pre-show. <laughs> There's a, a stage over here. Let's check this out. It's live music, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now, there, for safety reasons, they, if you were going to go for the swim, they did ask you to register in advance just so they can keep track. <laughs> But you're also just welcome to come on down here yourself. walking here. You can see the crowd's nice and thick. And it'll get thicker and thicker as the day goes on until around the 2.30 point. Here's the info tent over here. And, uh, yeah. You can get your merch here too. <laughs> That's so cool. Of course, over here in Vancouver, New Year's Day is sometimes more spectacular than New Year's Eve. <laughs> so, definitely something to come and check out if you've never been to uh, Vancouver on New Year's Day. Wow. <laughs> And we'll keep on walking over here. We're over by the local Cactus Club now. Now we continue to walk along the seawall path here. Just gotta keep an eye out for the short people too, just going all over the place. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I gotta keep an eye out. <laughs> and they even have this accessible ramp that's available all year round, but uh, it's there too. So if you need it to go uh, in for your dip, it's available. Isn't that awesome? Looks like the Cactus Club is all filled up. People are using the heat lamps. People are getting ready. <laughs> so this should be an interesting day. Most, most definitely. How is your new year?
<laughs> of course, they're apparently encouraging filming at this event. <laughs> I just saw a sign that said that. <laughs> That's cool because the police can, of course, use the information there. And of course, if the police ever ask me to, I'd hand it over. <laughs> oh, cute little Scottish Terrier over here. And a Wheaton, too. Must be a bunch of troublemakers. <laughs> of course, the streets are shut down over here today. Looks like the park rangers are down here, too, to enjoy themselves. Nice to see. Or at least bus access is. So there's a lot of parking, so they've asked people to walk on in today. Just getting so on. even just walking around this area in the crowds is, makes for some fantastic videos. We're on Demon Street now. And uh, just on this side is Mortimer Park. And it looks like our VPD is doing an awesome job. Thank you, VPD, you're awesome. <laughs> Love the police keeping the peace. It's all we need them to do. <laughs> Doing a great job. Let's keep going here. I'll take a quick stroll along Robson Street or Demon Street. Wow. <laughs> There's amazing laughter. And of course, Demon Street here is the retail district down here which is, comprises the Denman village and you can see just how busy it is it's packed down here today <laughs> it's a little more hard to walk on that side right now <laughs> over there at the Babylon <laughs> ah, you can see up here, plenty of people on this side as well. <laughs> Just fortunate to get a little break here. Oh, just wow. <laughs> just wow. <laughs> Just focusing on skirting around a few people, folks. <laughs> There's a few canes in there. Didn't want to knock them over. I'll keep walking on Denman Street here. A lot of people just in the restaurants right now, relaxing. Getting ready for the big tea off. In a little over an hour. And this would be the intersection of Denman and Comox. Across the street, we got the Denman Place Mall. <laughs> and on this side, we got things like 7 Eleven and Sushi Aboard. And more restaurants, so it's like a pet food store, an HR block, a gym, that type of thing. Not all the restaurants, of course, will be open today. It is New Year's Day, but uh, many of them down here will, because they're going to make a lot of money if they are. Beautiful mural over here on Henshaw Lane. Hey. <laughs> Hey, 
Uh, Tim Hortons is probably making a killing too today. <laughs> I'm out of, out of towners. Maybe not familiar with the other coffee brands that are in the neighborhood. I'm looking for something familiar. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's a lineup. <laughs> there's a lineup at Tim Hortons. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you hardly ever see that. It looks like Muse Cannabis is open. Not that big of a fan of this store anymore. But uh, some of the more knowledgeable staff moved on, but uh, they still do a good job. <laughs> I now go to Canna Cabana. They have fire better prices. Yeah, we'll keep going here on Demon Street. <laughs> Did have a bit of a late night last night for myself. So I got to sleep in today. <laughs> But he's also taking advantage today because there won't be a lot of people on public transit. So he's decided today he's going to go out and film a few transit videos for you folks. So you can keep an eye out for that. He's talking about Canada Line videos. And maybe a few more uh, different transit routes. He did just film the R5 transit route yesterday. At least all the way to uh, Renfrew Street. Yeah, and this would be the intersection of Denman and Barclay. And across the street, you can see the Denman Market. And of course, over here, one of my favorite places, Blends. And there we go. This blends does a pretty good job too. <laughs> it doesn't look anywhere bu as busy as Tim Hortons. <laughs> nah, it looks like a lot of Tim Hortons cups and a lot of McDonald's cups down here. People looking for stability who don't live here. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Keep spending that money because even if it's going to the Tim Hortons, it's being spent here. <laughs> Spend, spend, spend. <laughs> we'll show you a good time here in Vancouver and uh, we'll gladly take your money. <laughs> Other places that are very popular on a day like today, New Year's Day, when almost everything is closed. Yeah, see. The sauce over here is closed today. A little Italian shop. Come on, most of the restaurants here are open. But the other places people tend to go is the large parks. So of course, you'll also find people walking around with their families in Stanley Park particularly around the seawall. The seawall will be very popular today. Won't be like wall-to-wall -wall folks, but uh, still pretty busy. And especially during these inflationary times, <laughs> where the government keeps spending money without reigning in inflation, well, <laughs> parks are an easy option. <laughs> <laughs> nice and affordable option. <laughs> and you get some spectacular vistas over here. Especially along the seawall path. See the Brecca Bakery is open? That is no surprise. That's normal. And a lineup outside the door here, still no surprise. That's normal too. But the foot traffic is in increase. Looks like some people are enjoying the Ukrainian restaurant today and holy guacamole. Oh, it's opened early. Oh. 
Good on you, holy guacamole. <laughs> It's the intersection of Robson and Demon Street, and that would be Robson Street. Heading up through the West End and into the downtown core. Looks like there's no shortage of people over here. Very interesting. Now yeah, across the street here. <laughs> Got the local Starbucks. I'm just going to cross the street again. <laughs> so here's the intersection of uh, Denman and Robson one more time. And that's looking along Denman back to English Bay Beach. Very cool. <laughs> and we're back on Denman Street here. Walking through Bike Rental Row. And there's a series of bike rental stores along the strip. Seven or eight, <laughs> depending on the time of day. So, of course, people can go from shop to shop and just evaluate. And there's even more bike rental stores, both on Robson Street and tucked in and around the streets of Cole Harbor including on the seawall path and uh, over by the hotel tucked in by uh, Cardero Park <coughs> we'll cross the street here Anyway, just passing one of the biggest bike rental stores in Vancouver, Spokes. They have the biggest selection. Some of the biggest amounts of uh, choice and options as well. So. And they provide also other programs like instruction, ride-alongs. So. Absolutely huge. Yeah, kids are running all over the place. <laughs> Crazy. Well, folks, I'm going to keep on going. So, anyways, thanks for coming along for this video today. And uh, I'll uh, just remember to share, like, and subscribe. And uh, really hit that like button. Helps push the video out to uh, more people. So, yeah. Thanks uh, again, and talk to you later. Have a good day. <laughs>